Okay, this will be a funny one. We're going to make this into a dual colour job for this. So we're just going to set ourselves up. Okay, we're going to start with black and yellow. Don't know how big we're going to make this. This is going to be a challenge. Going to add some text enhance to this. going to leave it there we're not going to touch that this is a pure an almost pure color that we're we've got so we don't have to worry about making all these fine adjustments for it so we're just going to leave it copy density we're going to leave it just going to leave it we're going to just work out how big to make it what is it it is something i found and i salvaged souvenir it's off it's a it's a head off uh, no the uh, lid off a shoe box. It's a shoe box lid and we're going to use that as our demo piece. So we're just going to put it on the glass where the spider is roughly. Hopefully we can, we're just going to overlap it a little bit over the top. So we're just going to try and, this is not an easy one folks, and then working out how big we're going to enlarge the section that we want. We want to focus mainly on the spider of all things. So we're going to try and do some intuitive work here. So I'm going to make it 350 that way. And for the vertical, we're going to make it 300, 360. So let's see how that goes. Okay, out it comes to see how the spider looks. Oh, we, I think we've cut too much of the spider off, by the way. But it looks nice. It's a nice looking piece. Uh, wondering, I'm trying to think. Uh, maybe, yeah, that's the top of it. So we just got the top of it and the bottom of it's totally gone to oblivion. So it's made it go to oblivion so we don't want it to go that far so we're just going to put that back on there maybe we can leave it like that and we're just gonna take out some of the enlargement i think we've gone way 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 too big on our enlargement for some reason our intuition hasn't hasn't paid off so we're going to make it 290 by 300 percent i'm going to do it that way let's see how that goes see if we can make this shoebox lid into something creative okay out it comes well that's looking a lot better so yeah that's our that's our spider so wondering we're gonna gonna make it even smaller even bigger on the horizontal uh it's a tough one I'm trying to think what are we gonna do with this uh so that's the top of it so the we're gonna make make it bigger i don't know how this is gonna work so we're gonna make the horizontal 300 and just gonna think 340 i don't know if this is gonna work because we did enlarge it uh, along the horizontal and it was too big oh, i don't know it's, it's a tough it's a real tough one yeah it's going that way i'm just trying to work out which way the actual image is running so we're gonna maybe make it less enlargement I fucking hate those input errors that you get when you do that. So I'm trying to think maybe on the trying to think on the horizontal we're gonna make it 190. I got a feeling I'm gonna have to move the original over a bit or do something to make it a better fit. 
It's not easy trying to get this to look good. I'm trying to guesstimate the sizes and that. So let's see how this looks. Whoa, that looks interesting. But we now have the, the writing. We don't want that. We just want the shadow. We just want the shadow of the spider. So we've got to go back and make it a bigger size. So I'm wondering if we're going to have to slide this across, take up some of that blank space and somehow hope we can make this straight, even though we don't have that straight line against the edge of the glass, if you know what I mean. So we're going to do that and we're going to make the enlargement a lot bigger for the horizontal. So the horizontal is going to be, I think we're going to make it, we're going to make it 300, we're going back to 360. And I think the vertical should be alright. So now let's see how we go. So this is not an easy one to do. But I hope you guys find my work entertaining when I do, when I do sometimes make my demos a little prolongated. So that looks nice. I'm actually thinking maybe I should lift the spider up so we can have a bit less space. So we got it right on the horizontal, that looks good. So now we're just going to uh, lift it up a bit. We're going to try and stick it, keep it where, where, where we've got it on the horizontal as much as we can. So we're just going to lift that up again a bit further. So we just hope we don't overdo it. So now the vertical might need a little bit more or we're just going to try it as is and see how the vertical plays out and then we can make our mirror image we can turn this into a nice dual color mirror image so let's see how this goes yeah that looks good we got it's good that we've cut a bit of the top off that makes it more creative looking composition so we're just going to put these other pages away because I like this result. Now the other pages are falling down. Sorry folks. Oh, I just nearly cramped my calf muscles. So I'm wondering where the where the uh, trying to decide where to put the center of the image. I think that's going to be the center. I just push some of that stuff away. So that looks like it's going to be the center of our job. So now we're just going to switch back to red. I know it looks a bit like the original, but <laughs> I just like doing it. This is how I do it. So let's see how we go. A little bit tricky as a this demo, but it's come up better than I thought. So that's our red, similar to the original, you could say, but it's going to be done differently. So I'm wondering if that's where our center is going to be, is going to be there. But yeah, this is an interesting thing to work with. Good old red back, red back shoes. So now we're just gonna switch over to our mirror image button. We're gonna switch that on. And we're just gonna switch over to one of the other one of the cool colours, and that's gonna be blue and it's gonna be green and black, not blue. So let's see. So this has been a challenge, but it looks like we've managed to rise to it. So I'm going to put the green up in the top right corner. And finally, last but not, not least on this demo, we're going to do the blue. The black and blue, which sounds like being beaten. Be <laughs> black and blue. Indeed, that's an old Aussie saying, if I'm correct. I'll beat you black and blue. I've heard that one when I was a kid something like that but anyway let's see how we go finishing off this demo so let's just assemble the pieces it's tricky trying to get them into place without nudging them out of nudging other pieces out of position so that's that one there and this green one right next to the Aussie color yellow green and gold so that's gonna 
hopefully line up nicely. See, it's a little bit tricky trying to get these things to line up sometimes. Sorry, folks. I try to get things as accurate as I can. Anyway, so there we have it. A take on an Aussie brand of shoe. Gotta go.